Hello guys and welcome to the FIFA 21 gameplay features. So today at 4pm English time they released the trailer and the gameplay and from that it's looking very promising for FIFA 21. I don't want to get too ahead of myself because I do this every year and the game, well, don't even need to say anything but from the website here we've got new gameplay features. Get rewarded for your creativity and control with the new features in the most intelligent FIFA gameplay to date. And there's a picture of tackling on the left with Trent. But at the bottom, there's um, agile dribbling, positioning personality, creative runs, natural collision system, and fundamentals of football. So we'll work our way through them throughout this video. And first of all, we've got agile dribbling. So with agile dribbling, a new agile dribbling system gives you the means to unleash your creativity in one-on-one -on -one situations. Use fast footwork, more responsive close control, and new skill moves like the ball roll fake to explode past defenders. So, in a previous video on FIFA 21 that I've done, um, I did speak about new skill moves and fake ball rolls, which probably symbolise that the meta of this FIFA is going to be the same as... Sorry, the meta for next FIFA is going to be the same as this one, with skill moves and dribbling past players. But from the trailer as well, you can also see that um, dribbling is very um, overpowered. And yeah, just dribbling's key. But moving on from agile dribbling, we've got positioning personality. So in FIFA 21, increased positional awareness elevates footballers' in-game intelligence to put them in the right place at the right time. See the world's class forwards hold their runs in line with the last defender. Creative playmakers find space to play through balls and midfielders shut off passing lanes as player better, players better live up to their real-world understanding of space and the time on the pitch. So I assume strikers are going to be hold their run a bit more and they're going to be able to hold their runs and make more creative runs. And you can also choose where you want your players to run, which is really cool. Bring more creativity on how you play the game and more control. So that moves on to creative runs. So get more control over your attacker's movement with more ways to break down the defence in build-up play. Um, so then it goes into more detail with directed runs. Flick the right stick after triggering a run to take full control over the direction of your runs your teammates make. Um, so you can, so what this, I'll put a picture up now on a controller. If you hold your left button or L1, I believe it is on PlayStation, and with the right stick, if you flick it in a direction, that will control one of your players and a blue line will come up or blue arrows to show where your teammate is going to run to. So you can control your teammates' runs, which is really cool. But then directed pass and go. Flick the right stick to decide where your teammate makes their run after pass. Um, I assume quick passing may also be a cool feature. Um, and yeah, just more in detail of being able to, to control where your teammates make runs. And the final one is player lock. Pressing both sticks to lock your current player when on the attack. So if you pass the ball and you want to carry on controlling that one player and let the AI control everyone else, you can stay on that guy. And then I'm assuming, so if you play a ball out, so out onto the winger and you want to stay with your guy, you can keep with it him. Press X. Or, um, oh, I'm going to look stupid now. I'm not sure what the cross button is on PlayStation. But you press the cross button and it'll come back to the guy you originally, originally passed it with. And then after that, there's natural collision system. Now, this is one of the main downsides of FIFA 20, and it has been for quite a while. So when you're tackling people, and you may see all your players fall over, and just not very realistic. And hopefully, what they say on this is they have fixed that. So a reimagined collision system creates smoother player interactions all over the pitch. Key footballing moments like goal scrambles and battles for possession in the midfield will resolve more naturally, resulting in fewer free-for-alls and less falling over each other when players fight to be first to the ball. So, I mean, hopefully they fix that. There will obviously be more patch notes coming 
and more in detail stuff, but hopefully, we all hope that EA have finally fixed that. And the final one, fundamentals of football. So update to the fundamentals of football, raise the game all over the pitch. So in more detail, passing. A more perceptive understanding of space and opposition positioning allows players to play a more intelligent passing game in FIFA 21. So more one-twos and quick passing, like I talked about earlier. And blocking. A new blocking system creates more balanced outcomes when defenders block shots and crosses. Yeah. Responsiveness. Faster reaction times unlock more responsive players, enabling them to better escape from tight situations when under pressure from opponents. That would be pretty cool if that was like a trait you could get. So more playmakers, maybe like your Neymars and stuff, have more control on the ball. Might kind of like the flare trait and explode past players. And then manual headers take full control over headed shots and passes with manual headers that send the ball exactly where you aim. So for FIFA 20, they did make headers, what do I say, a bit less OP and not really work because they wanted to more focus on the um, dribbling side of the game. But this FIFA, they brought in manual headers so you don't have to press the shoot button and it'll manually head the ball in the direction towards the goal or where you want to aim it, which is another pretty cool feature. But moving on from the basics, we have the the pitch notes where we get an even um, deeper view on what's new in FIFA 21. I'm not going to read this because it has over 6,000 words and I am not doing that because this video would never end. But our, our, we can have like a, a quick, like have a look through and um, just if you want to read it, you can pause it yourself and have a look. But so I'll read the first part. So it goes, hey FIFA community. Welcome to this year's deep dive into some of the changes and updates going into FIFA 21. First off, we hope you're all staying safe in what has been a very interesting year for all of us and we're wishing you and your families all the best as we navigate through the summer months and into launch. As you'll see below, there are a number of features to go through in FIFA 21. Based on community feedback, we want to give you all as much context into these changes as possible. Before we dive into specifics, please note that we are not discussing the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X versions in this article and more updates on those will follow later this year. However, all the listed updates in this article will be present on both generations of consoles. So then you move on to it and there's an overview of everything here and then some of the features We've already talked about more depth in agile dribbling. Like I said, if you want to, you can pause this or go on EA.com's website and find this yourself. Um, and creative runs we've also talked about where Salah made the run. Um, what else is here? Positioning personality. Um, yeah, like I said, you can read it. I've said that a few times, but attacking positioning attribute impact. So you can either play a low or a high Formation, I assume. Um, defending awareness attribute. Might get some newer attributes then. Two-man marking. So, uh, what is this showing? Oh, different tackling, all right. Yeah, all right. So, this shows the difference between the FIFA 20 and FIFA 21 gameplay. And well, like, like I said earlier in the video about people falling over each other. This is a massive difference between FIFA 20 and FIFA 20 on there. But this is, um, that well, that's the new tackling system, even more just smooth tackles, less falling over. But this is one of the main things I wanted to see. So enhanced CPU and, a, uh, and, and competitor mode. So in FIFA 21, we added a new setting called competitor mode, designed to refresh the CPU AI in career mode and foot squad battles. When selecting legendary or ultimate difficulties, there will now be an option to enable this mode for those seeking a new challenge. This will be available to use in any mode where you are playing against the CPU AI and where legendary or ultimate difficulty is available as an option. So this is also talked about in the official trailer that was released earlier as well, that um, it's pretty much based around some of the best FIFA players in the world, like Tex, and so there'll be new skill moves that you've never seen 
the AI perform. So if you're a really um, competitive career mode player like myself, I wouldn't say I'm that good for Legendary Ultimate though. Um, this will be very good for you. But then just more fundamentals of football, which we've talked about. So more crossing and the um, headers, automatic headers that I talked about. Um, more defending. So being able to use shoulder to shoulder tackles more effectively like there, shown with Thiago Silva. So blocking and passing. So here, more crossing and even more heading. Um, so there's more crosses actually. The number of new crosses, whipped cross, inspired by Liverpool's Trent Alexander-Arnold, a driven cross and a ground cross. That's interesting. Um, animation fluidity. Giving players more control. This is we've talked about new skill moves like the fake ball roll already. A little fake shot there around the keeper. So more settings, auto flare passes. That's interesting. So you don't have to hold left trigger. Um, auto clearances, auto shots, player lock, contextual agile dribbling, assisted headers, through ball assistance, cross assistance, directed runs indicator. And these all on the settings tab, these are where you can turn all these either on or off. Skill move improvements, we've already talked about the new skill moves, general improvements and community based feedback, online gameplay, quality of life improvements, and the that looks the same, the defensive tactics and stuff. It might be a bit cleaner. So attributes kickoff only. Um so it'll modify players' attributes. So that's interesting. Um, rewind kickoff only. So if you're playing kickoff, I'm not sure the yeah. I well, if you're playing against someone on kickoff, I assume you'll still be able to do it, but maybe not. So if you say you have a shot and you miss, you can press the rewind button and you can take that shot again. However, you cannot rewind. After it's gone over to half time, full time, or a whistle has been blown, you can't do it um, for injuries, substitutes, penalties, penalty shootouts, and fouls that result in a warning from a card. So, say you your best play in career mode, no, not career mode, kickoff. Sorry, kickoff only. Say your best player in kickoff gets injured, you can't go back, which is very nice. Many more new animations, new goalkeeper tactics. And yeah, that that's it. And that's mostly it. Like I said, if you wanted to see any more of that in detail, you can just pause the video or go on EA.com and look at this yourself. But that's it. That's There's a lot to take in for this new FIFA 21 game. Hopefully it's as good as all this has been saying. Hopefully it'll be a lot better than FIFA 20. I really do hope. And yeah, leave in the comments how you think about the game. Whether you... We'll be getting it. Um, how excited you are of ten? Because I'm I'm very excited after reading all this with a lot of improvements. They could have just given us a brief description, but they've gone. Like I said earlier, this this article has over six thousand words. So they've gone into detail. So yeah. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said in a previous video, we want to get to seventy five subs by the end of September. So we're twenty five away. Get to that and peace.